So if you clicked on this video, you either want to know more about staking cryptocurrency or you just like hearing me talk. Either way, I think you're going to be pleased. So what the heck is staking cryptocurrency and what's LP staking? Well, the best way to describe it, I think, is that it's, it's a bit like storing money in a savings account. You store your money in the bank and you get more money over time. Well, in staking cryptocurrency and in LP staking, you're storing your cryptocurrency in some way. You no longer have access to it. And in exchange, you get more cryptocurrency over time. In basic staking, the primary thing that happens is you give your coins or tokens to the network, either on your own or through someone else, and the crypto you gave is usually used to form nodes to validate the network. You get rewarded for that. Without diving too deep into network validation methods, for all intents and purposes, you temporarily no longer have access to your currency, and as thanks, you get more currency. Liquidity pool, or LP staking, is a little bit different. For context, the stock market uses companies called market makers to facilitate transactions. They're the middleman that makes all the transactions spin. However, the DeFi world uses automated market makers. Using blockchain technology, the process of verifying who owns what in the pools can be totally autonomous and consensus-based. So what is a liquidity pool? Well, here's what turned the light bulb on for me. All markets involve pairing one asset with another. In the U.S. stock market, shares of companies, like, say, Microsoft, are paired with their equivalent value in USD. In DeFi liquidity pools, you're pairing one token or coin with another. The pair is usually between some token that does a thing, the product or company in the previous analogy, and a well-known crypto asset like Ethereum, the big mother currency for most DeFi, or USDT, an Ethereum token that's always worth one US dollar. But technically, it could be any pair. But if you don't pair your token with one of the standard trading mediums, then there'll be considerably less demand for your pool. It'd be like pairing shares of Microsoft with shares of Uber. Yeah, there could be somebody that wants to trade those two things, but why not just go from Microsoft to USD and then USD to Uber? The market maker can draw on the resources in the pool to exchange one token or coin for its partner, which lets the market flow. On Uniswap, which is a well-known and simpler DEX, automated market maker in the DeFi space, the pool generates a 0.3% transaction fee for every, well, transaction. Uniswap has a natural dark mode and a synthwave palette as well, which I think is fashionable. Yeah, that's cool and all, but how the hell do I get my profits? How do liquidity providers reap their reward from the pools? To show who has ownership in the pool, the DEX platform generates a fungible token that works like a receipt when you deposit money in the pool. It's a token in its own right. You could sell that receipt to somebody else if you wanted to. Ownership of the sacred LP tokens attached to the pool gives you proportional ownership in both the assets in the pool and fees generated by the pool according to the ratio of how many relevant LP tokens you own versus the total number of relevant LP tokens currently in existence. So here's an example to clarify that word salad of a sentence. Sally starts a liquidity pool of two tokens, and according to the formula for that pool, her liquidity deposit earns her 10 LP tokens. There's only 10 tokens that exist. She owns all of them. She gets 100% of the fees and owns 100% of the liquidity. Billy Big Shot rolls in and pours in 10 times her amount of liquidity into the pool and gets 100 LP tokens. There are now 110 tokens. Sally has 10 out of 110, or 9.1% ownership. Billy has 100 out of 110, or 90.9% ownership. Finally, to extract fees and assets, you have to destroy the LP tokens. They get burned. You get the chunk of pool fees you earned and your crypto back. Everybody else now has a higher percent ownership in the pool. However, due to supply and demand shifting the proportions of tokens in the pool, you might not get the same amounts of each that you deposited initially. There are additional bonuses to LP staking, like staking the LP tokens themselves. There's a lot to say about the topic, but that's probably enough for now. If this was something you're interested in, comment down below and we'll make another video going in depth about some aspects that we breezed over. We'll have a video soon with an example of someone staking in an LP pool on Uniswap and the steps involved in that, as well as staking the LP tokens themselves. 